So we have a problem. The rental company you have chosen charges $70 a day. So $70. Later on, you're going to learn you're just doing one day. So 70 is just a straight up one day cost of $70 plus 20 cents for every mile. So 0 0.20 times X, where X is the miles. Write a linear equation that expresses the total cost Y. So Y equals what? Then choose a number of miles X. You travel that day and find the total cost of renting the truck. So we're going to call this X 10. Okay. So down here, we're going to call it 10. <clears throat> so for now, what is the equation? Well, y, normally it should be Y equals 70 times D for the amount of days plus 20 cents per mile. So since we're going to assume it's one day, so 70 times 1 is 70, which is this. And then you have this, okay? Now, graph this equation. So in order to graph it, I made a stem and leaf. So for every five miles, you get $1 of travel expenses. So I made it easy. I did it in increments of five. So you have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 for the number of miles. And then Y, once you plug in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 into X, you get 71 because 0 0.20 times 5 is 1. Then you get 72. 10 times 0 0.2 is 2, so on and so forth. Finally, graphing it. So usually in mathematics, when you have a graph and the scale goes from 0 to 1,000, for example, on the Y or the X, and you don't want to, I guess, show all of those 1,000 lines on an axis, you usually have a cutoff, which is this. It's like a break in the axis. It's really supposed to be like, like a little lightning bolt type of thing. Whoa. It's really supposed to be something like that, <clears throat> but whatever. So I broke it and it started at 70. So you have, these are your points that you're going to plot. So you have, when X is zero, you have Y equals 70. So X is zero, Y equals 70. When X is five, you have Y equals 71. 10, you have 72, 15, 73, 20, 74, 25, 75. So this is the graph. Then choose a number of miles X you travel that day and find the total cost of renting the truck. So like I previously said in the video, we are going to travel 10 miles. So with that, we have one day, 10 miles, so 70 plus $2, because 0 0.20 times 10 is 2, you have a 72 bucks. Now, if you have any more questions in the future, please feel free to contact me. We can cover some different questions in different sessions. Um, thank you very much, and have a good one.